Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create breast enhancement within Photoshop. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and I'm going to open up the image for today's tutorial. And once I have that open I'm just going to double click the background layer. And now we're ready to get started. So the first thing we need to do is go to the filter menu and then go to liquify. And the filter, uh, or the liquify filter, is definitely one of the coolest filters within Photoshop. You can uh, take and you can move things around, you can like push them in, you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, you can twirl them, all kinds of different stuff. So it's definitely one of my favorite uh, filters within Photoshop. But the tool within it that we're going to be using today is called the bloat tool. And you can find it over here, it's a little circle or a little oval with uh, arrows on each side. And we're going to click that and then you can see over in the brushes we have quite a few different uh, options for brushes. And the one that we're going to be adjusting the most is the brush size. And to start we're probably going to need something, for me it's probably around a thousand. Um, you just want it to be somewhat in proportion. Um, it needs to definitely be larger uh, than the breast that you want to enhance. Um, so depending on the resolution of your image, it's going to be definitely more or less for you. It's probably not going to be right at a thousand like it is for me. Um, so for everything else, for the brush density, I have it set at 50 and for the brush rate, I have it set at 80. So you just want something that's a larger brush to start with and you're just going to start clicking and you can see instantly once you start clicking, um, it's just going to make bigger whatever you click on. Um, so you just want to go slowly and carefully, you don't want to uh, overdo it. Um, and it's more of a trial and error. Um, if you make an error, you can do Control alt z and it'll just go back. And there's no set specific way that you need to uh, click. Uh, you just want to use your bigger brush to uh, enlarge everything a little bit. And then we're going to, after you've got a pretty good effect going on, you can take and uh, size down your brush and it's probably going to be about 600 or so for me and then you can just start filling in um, anywhere else that you need um, a little bit more um, just to fill it in so we're going to just keep tweaking it a little bit and once you're satisfied with your effect um, you're just going to click OK and now you can see our before and after of that so you see the before and after. And now in order to pull this effect off, we're going to need to do a little bit more work. So we're just going to take and zoom in. And now that we've done that, we're going to grab the burn tool. So you can find it over here. Um, there's a hand tool, a little lollipop looking thing, and then a sponge. So it's, it's in that menu. So you just hold down and we need to go to the burn tool first. So I have my brush set at about 125. Um, and we want the range to be on set on to mid-tones. And then I have the exposure set to 100. And what this is going to allow us to do is I'm just going to go around the base of the breast and it's just going to allow us to take and darken up that area like it would um, have some depth. So it would have some more depth there uh, naturally. So since we created this artificially, we're going to want to simulate that. So within that area, you're just wanting to uh, darken it up a little bit. And then we're going to go over and we're going to grab the dodge tool next. And for midtones, um, we're going to take and have it on 20. And then we're just going to kind of go towards the upper part of the breast. Um, just try and lighten that up just to give it a little bit more. We want darker on the bottom, lighter on top, just to try and give it a little bit more form. Now the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back to the burn tool and we're going to select uh, highlights and we want it to be on 20 and for this particular image I'm going to um, go around the outside of uh, the swimsuit here and I'm just going to darken it up just because um, it's a little bit uh, bright and especially once you start enlarging it it messes with the, um, the swimsuit a little bit so we're just going to want to take and give that a little bit more form too. So I just went around uh, each of the edges of that just to give it a little bit more form so it's darker again on the base and then brighter up on the top. So we're just going to zoom out a little bit and you can see from um, our history brush what we've got here. We've got this to this and the problem is um, over on the arms you can see that the arms bend out a little bit from the start especially on this arm which is kind of covered by the uh, palette. But what we're going to do to fix that is we're going to go to the art history brush. And the art history brush is right here. It looks like a little brush with a little reverse or an undo sign. So we're just going to hold that down and go to art history brush. And what that's going to allow us to do is when we zoom in on say over here where the arm is kind of like uh, bent out, we can take and we can just paint. You can see we're painting and it's actually painting that arm back in from the original image. And it's fixing it back to what it was originally. So now it's a little bit fuzzy right here and if you zoom in a little bit more, maybe make a smaller brush, 
uh, you can actually get rid of some of the fuzziness. I'm not going to spend a lot of time to do this because uh, it could take a little bit. Um, but once you do that, uh, you can get a pretty nice effect. And you can see your arm is definitely back to normal. And again, you can do the same thing with this other arm over here. I'm just going to zoom in. And then you can basically just repaint where her arm was before uh, we started adjusting the breast. So you can see we just painted it back in from um, basically nowhere. It's just taking it from the original image and putting it back in. So you can see that we have a pretty nice effect here from the original, which is right here, to the final. So I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.